Well boys, welcome back to Nosy Kitchen, right? I'm gonna show you now today how to make chicken pot pie chowder, okay? Not only am I gonna show you how to make it, I'm gonna have a little bit of gossip for you too because I got a few updates going on, right? Margaret is back in town. So if you want to find out how to make this and find out about the news, then make sure you keep watching. Now I got all the ingredients here lined up ready to go, right? You got your chicken breast, you ain't get about three or four of them. I usually put in three of them and I give the other piece to me bags. Don't tell the husband no, would you? Then I got everything else here too. Look at this. Look. Cream stalk corn, a few potatoes. Judge it for yourself how many potatoes you want to put in there. Now, if anybody out there is watching this that's healthy, don't be commenting now and saying, that's not healthy, you shouldn't be eating it. If that's the kind of show you want to watch, I don't know where you gotta go to see it. But you're not going to be seeing it here, my love. Now, because everybody in the world these days is right sensitive about everything, right? I'm just going to tell you right now, if there's any vegetarians on here that's watching this, you best start getting off now, right? Because you're not going to want to see this next part. I'm going to show you now that you're going to take a pot with water in it and you're going to boil it, right? And when the pot is boiling, you're going to add your boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now the chicken is all cooked, right? You're gonna cut this up now in little bits and bobs. Now you don't need to be particular about how you're cutting it because chances are it's gonna fall apart anyways, right? You just gotta chop it up, right? Don't be particular about it. You don't need to be cutting up little cubes or nothing like that. Just make sure you don't be cutting your fingers off. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you now, Margaret, she's back in town. Oh yeah. She came back, my dear, ready to snap at Red Truck Guy. She called me and she said, I want you to go over to Red... Youngsters, there got me drove crack today, I'm telling you, my son. Anyway, she come back to town. She came over to the house and she said, I need you to go over to Red Truck Guy's house with me. I said, what are you going to be doing, Margaret? I said, I don't want to be an accomplice to something. And she said, no. She said, I just want you to go over there, she said, because I'm going to tell him I want him at the house. Now, that's strange for Margaret to get on like that because she usually fights for the man that she wants, but she don't want him no more, see? So this is why I'm starting to think she got a new man for herself in her life. I don't know where she got him. Probably when she was out in that hotel out there. She probably went to casinos and bars and everything. She probably hooked up and picked someone up and brought him home in a bit. So anyway, I don't know what's going on there, but she went over to his house. Now, he's got junk all over the yard everywhere. And she told him, she said, I want you gone. And she said, I want you to take all that crap you got here, she said in the air. I want that gone too. Now, Vera, she's been sending Red Truck Guy these little love letters, but they're not love letters. She's trying to give him a hint that she's the mother to him, right? And he doesn't have a clue. Anyways, Vera contacts him and says, I heard you were looking for a place to stay. She said, you can come over and stay with me anytime you want, my love. Now, he thinks she's a secret admirer, but you know what? He agreed to it. He said, okay, I'm going to go over. So here he was when we went over there to kick him out. He had his bags and everything packed ready to go. So he knew Margaret was coming home to kick him out. And he said, you know what? He said, Margaret, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore anyways. He said, because you're useless. Now that's something what to say to Margaret. You don't say nothing like that to Margaret, my dear. She's going to go aboard again one of these days. So here you got red truck guy now over there living with Vera. Shacking up with her. Right? He packs a bag. Now, he didn't have much of anything, right? He's always wearing the same old crap all the time. Sure, I don't know where he even got a suitcase at. But he went over there. Now, Bear and Red Truck Guy over there, my dear, having pajama parties and everything. I'm going to cook his meals every day and have his breakfast and everything done for him when he gets up. I said, Vera, don't you think he's going to catch on to something? And she said, well, that's what I want him to do. I said, why don't you just come out and tell him, right? Rather than have him guessing or thinking that you're a creepy, secret admirer. Listen. Somebody's out there now making a racket. Oh, that's just leopard lady over there digging up for sale sign out in the front yard, la. I don't think I told you this, did I? She's selling the house over there now, ain't it? Oh, yeah. There's going to be someone else moving in there. God knows who now. But anyway, she got a job offer, you know, in the city. You never guess what doing, either. Strip club. I thought she would be waiting tables at the strip club, but no, she told me she was going to be up on the stage wrapping her leg around that pole while dollar bills are thrown at her. All right, so now that we got the chicken all cut up, it's right here on the plate, we're going to set this aside because we're not using this for now. So we're going to turn on the stove on medium heat. 
Now this is the pot that I used earlier. You can get yourself a new pot or you can use the same one that you boiled chicken in. But if you're using the same one, make sure you rinses it out right good. So we're going to put this now on the medium heat. Now we're going to add butter so it melts into the pot. Now it calls for one tablespoon of butter, but I like to add a little bit more than that. Again, if you're healthy, you might not want to watch this either. So I am going to just twirl around the butter because it needs to melt in the pot. Now, the next thing you're going to do, now boys, look at this. Don't be judging my stained spoon either, right? This is real life right here. So I'm going to stir it around the butter to make sure it's good melted. Now I'm going to add onion. Now I had one onion, large, medium, whatever size you want. If you like onion, get a large. So we're going to put this in there now, and we're going to spin this around with the butter. Now the next thing it calls for is one teaspoon of garlic. Now you can judge this however way you want it. I don't like to have too much garlic in mine, but I like a little bit. Look at that, see? Throw that in the pot there too, and let that all melt in together right good, and wait until the onions are nice and brown. Now this is the part where they says to add celery, but I hate the celery, so I'm not adding it in at all. This is everything that's going to be in the pot right now. Now I'm just going to peel a few potatoes. I should have had this done way before, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bonnie down the road. Do you remember Bonnie? She's the one that used to be a red truck guy. She had two youngsters for Remember her? Well, she walked up the road the other day while I was outside weeding. She seems to only be coming around when I'm outside for some reason. Anyway, she stopped and she started talking to me, right? She had the two youngsters in tow. And you know what she was telling me? She said, you know what? I hope red truck guy gets what's coming to him, she said. Now, I don't know what he ever did to her. I tried to get a death of her, but she wasn't telling me. Then as she was telling me all this, I was looking at her, see? And I was thinking, you know what? She looks awful big for some reason. She kind of looks like she's pregnant again. Now, I don't know who the father will be today. Because she don't like red truck guy for love the money. She, she's not going to have him to be the father of the third one. So I don't know who she hooked up with for that, right? But she does look like she's pregnant. Now, she never told me that she was. Now, it's either she got a really full stomach. And the stomach was growling, making all these movements. Or there's a foot in there trying to get out. Now once it's burnt, I mean um, golden brown, you gotta add a chicken broth. Now it calls for two and a half cups of chicken broth. Now I would suggest getting the low sodium one, right? Because I got the high blood pressure, so I try to get low sodium stuff. Now the doctor says this, this is still not good for me. But I mean, every once in a while, sure don't hurt. Next we're gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of thyme. Now I'm gonna be putting in three of them here now because this is only half a spoon, right? Half a teaspoon. Then you just spin that around a bit. Then you put in the half teaspoon of chicken seasoning. Now this one here, I bought this at No Frills. Then the next thing you do is you add your salt and pepper. Now, they give you measurements for that, but you know what, you're gonna have to judge it for yourself. This is the sea salt, that's what I use for that. So I just put in whatever I think I need in, right? And then I add a bit of pepper in. Now I don't add a whole lot of salt, as you could tell, right? Cause me high blood pressure, like I said already. And then I add a bit of pepper. Boom, done. Then you gotta add your potatoes in, okay? Now we're gonna bring this to a boil. And when it starts boiling, we're gonna reduce the heat and cover it for 10 minutes, all right? Now once the 10 minutes are up, take the cover off the pot, right? And get it, try to get a sense of if the potatoes are halfway done. Now I don't care if I gotta crunch into a hard potato. I'm starving dead here now, right? I don't even got patience enough to wait. But once that's done, what you're going to do now, you're going to take a can of cream stall corn. You're going to dump the whole can in there. This is 14 ounces of it. Dump that in there. That's going to give it a little bit more liquid. Because you're probably looking at that saying, my geez, shit, that don't look like it's enough to feed a family of four. Once you get that stirred in, then you add your frozen peas and carrots, right? And you put that in there. It's starting to look like chicken pot pie to me. Now, if you feel like there's not enough liquid in it, you don't want to add too much liquid, right? You can add a little bit of water if you want. Or if you want to add more chicken broth, go right ahead. I don't really go by the recipe a whole lot of time, so. Now you gotta let this simmer now for five more minutes. Shouldn't night have begun, right? And I won't even be hungry no more. So when your five minutes are up and it's finished simmering, that's when you add your chicken. So you could judge it by looking at it if you want. Then you're gonna stir that in right good. Now we're gonna set that aside for one second because I'm gonna show you something now. I already pre-mixed it, but this is one cup of half and half cream, right? Again, not healthy. But it's half and half cream. Now once, I had to turn off the fan that time. So that's got me drove crack. My brain's gone, right? Then you're going to put in that one tablespoon of cornstarch. And you're going to stir it around, whisk it around, right? Because that's what's going to thicken up 
this here, okay? So I already got it stirred around, right? So I'm gonna dump it in there now. Then we're gonna stir it around for another little bit. And I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little while, right? And let it simmer. But that's it, that's all you put in it, right? You can add celery in it, you can add other vegetables if you want, but this is what I like, it's plain and simple, see? Right? So I'm gonna let this sit a bit longer now and let it simmer a bit, because I want the cornstarch to start working, so we're taking it up a little. Now while this is simmering, right? This is the chance now to clean up the kitchen. Now that's what I can't stand doing because I make some bloody mess. Now this is the finished look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna have a little taste test of this. Hopefully it don't burn the throat at me. What? Your supper will be on the table in a minute. Anyways, I must go on now, I suppose. I gotta take up that one supper over there now. I'm not sure if you like this video or not, but if you did, Make sure you likes it. And if you want me to make another cooking video, feel free to comment on the video and say what you want me to cook. Now, I'm not that big of a cook. I already told you about that, right? But I'll slap something together, I suppose. So until next time now, I'm going to go now and enjoy my chicken pot pie chowder. See you later on.